So many of you have asked, Shirley, what would happen if you didn't use the blow dryer? Just let your hair dry naturally. Well, here's the answer to your question. <laughs> Now it's not bad, but this is so not me. This is not how I would leave my house. So what are we gonna do? Well, typically I would wet my hair, add my styling products, blow dry it, go through the whole shebang. But in the effort to do something different and to help those of you who don't like to use a hair dryer, or you know, maybe you shower at nighttime, you like to let your hair just dry naturally, you get up in the morning and it's like, what do I do? So if you don't wanna start over from wet hair and use a hair dryer, we're gonna figure out how we can go from this to something I would actually leave my house in. If you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button and now let's get started. So since my hair is dry, the typical products like my Root Boost, my Shine Serums, those kinds of things are not going to work on my dry hair. So I went through my cupboards to see, okay, what could I use to add a little bit of volume from this dry state. Now, before we get going, let me just show you what we're dealing with here. So this is apparently my natural part. It's where my hair wants to fall. Um, many of you have asked if I have straight hair or curly hair. I have some weird curls throughout, so I do not have completely straight hair. But here in the back, you'll see it is laying pretty flat. So for me personally, I need some more volume and lift up through here. We need this straightened out and just have it look a little more modern. So I went through my cupboards and I did find two dry shampoos here. I'm a little afraid to use them because the scent, I sprayed these on a tissue just to see what they smelled like and the scent is so perfumey and strong. So I thought, well, why not use a little bit of the Kenra volume spray? Now this is super hold, but for me, it's not super hold. So I'm going to start by spraying just a little bit of this through the crown. I'm also going to spray just a touch through this portion right here. And let's see about right here, because I want, as I flat iron, I am going to use a flat iron, and as I flat iron it, I want the flat iron to have a little bit of product to kind of grip to and to help the hair hold in its new flattened state or lifted state. So um, I feel like adding a little bit of product through is going to just help add a little bit of texture in the hair because again i'm starting off with absolutely nothing in my hair all right next i've got my flat iron i'm going to start off with it at 370 which is my normal temperature and well this is a pretty high part for me normally i part a little bit further over so we're going to kind of keep that in mind as i flat iron so um i am going to see if i can work the bang section over and then right here, where I have all of those kind of crazy curls, I'm gonna pull the flat iron through. And one other note is I am getting my hair cut tomorrow, hallelujah. I had her leave it a little bit longer last time because I just wasn't sure there was a few things I wanted to tweak. But consequently, the undercut was also left longer. It, she kind of uh, angled out the undercut. So my hair is tending to do this mushroom shape. So we're gonna also take care of that. And what I'm gonna do here on the sides is I'm gonna pull the flat iron almost like I wanna flip it out, but not quite. So what that's doing is it's kind of taking out a little bit of that bump up here and then I can take the flat iron kind of through and it's just going to hopefully help make the hair look a little bit more messy and PC. All right let's just move on through here on the top. I'm kind of doing my my usual thing and I can tell there's a little bit of extra volume from that Kenra spray but it's not quite like I get when I use the Catwalk Root Boost and blow dry my hair. So we're gonna have some work to do with our dry wax. All right, 
I'm going to take this through and as I am, you'll see I am combing this over because again, I want a deeper part than my hair naturally wants to go. All right, and then you'll see right here, again, because it's so long and it's long underneath, I'm getting this bump out here. Now, this is a tip if you are growing out an undercut and you're try and you're at this stage and you're like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the flat iron and kind of angle it towards the head and pull down. And you can see it just kind of flattens that because there's no way you can flat iron those little tiny short pieces underneath. So this is kind of my solution lately, just to kind of flatten those down just a little bit. So I know we want volume up here, but we don't want it on the sides, right? All right, let me just take a peek at the back. I have a mirror on the side that I use, so hold on one second. Okay, so the back is, you know, laying down. So we're gonna change that up slightly. Now, you've heard me talk about it before, but this is another good test to see the power of Enjoy Dry Wax. So I get lots of questions about this, and I will leave links in the description box below for a couple of videos about it. Also some links of where to purchase it. No, this video is not sponsored. I just used this product for years. And personally, I've never found anything else quite like it. So I'm using a small amount in my hands to start with. And the trick with this product, you really need to warm it up in your hands. You can use your blow dryer, but since I'm not using my blow dryer today, I just work it between my hands. All right, and now as I distribute it, I first start kind of on the ends of the hair. And I'm really just kind of touching my hair all over. You don't have to worry, this dry wax does not dry like your typical gel. So you wanna distribute it kind of evenly before you start molding and shaping your hair. That way you avoid getting massive amounts of wax like right here or right here. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna get any big chunks of wax anywhere. All right, so as I mentioned, I want a deeper part. I'm going to work this over. And as I'm doing that, scrubbing my fingers in the roots of my hair. All right, and then in the scalp section, many of you have asked, how do you add volume? How do you make that back section stick up? Well, if you have just a minimal amount of that wax on your hands, and you can see I'm, it's almost like I'm giving myself a scalp massage. Actually feels quite nice. <laughs> All right, so, you can see, I mean, you can go as crazy as you want to back there. We're not gonna leave it like that, so don't worry. We're getting closer. So now, now that I have a good amount distributed and my hair is looking more messy, which is what I personally like, I'm going to now just take a little more wax on my hands and use this to just piece a few sections or tame down. So right here you can see it's like kind of all scrunched up in there. I'm just gonna use my fingers to just kind of pull that outer part of the hair over so it doesn't look like it's ratted underneath or anything. <laughs> all right, and then just going to continue working through my hair and shaping certain sections and then I'm going to check out the back again and I'll let you know what I find out. <laughs> okay, so in the back, I'm kind of pretty happy with this. It's a little bit messy, kind of spiky, not really. Um, I just usually tame down a few of the longer hairs there in preparation for hairspray. All right, and then the final thing I'll do like right here, you can see where that mushroom is starting. So what I'll do is just take a little bit of that wax and kind of press it towards kind of the side of my head and towards the front. And I find that that really helps kind of narrow that in. And for me, because I have 
kind of more of a round face. That's why I don't want extra volume here on the sides because I feel like it uh, brings more volume to and width to my face. If, however, you have a more narrow face, volume up to the side is actually going to be good for you. So, all right, now I'm going to switch to the Instant Freeze Hairspray by Aussie. The Kenra, a lot of people love this. It's just not enough hold for me personally, but a lot of people do love it. So I'm gonna go in with Aussie now, and I'm just really going to kind of finish the shaping and lock it in place. All right, I popped in some earrings and now here is our finished look. So I have to say, I'm pretty surprised that from where I started to where we ended up that I got here without the use of a blow dryer. Now, obviously it takes longer for hair to air dry. And for me, because I have super thick hair, it actually takes a couple hours. So it's not really a time saving measure for me, but it did definitely save my hair from that extra heat damage from blow drying. So for those of you who've been curious to know if you can air dry your hair and still style it successfully. Hopefully today's video was helpful for you. As always, I will leave links to all the products that I used in today's video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.